I'm Dr. Lutz Mary, Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So I'm going to take the topic Cloud Services Model for the subject Cloud Computing. So Cloud Services Model, the service models are IAAS, PAAS, SAS. So Infrastructure as a Service, example is Amazon EC2, Elastic Compute 2, Microsoft Azure, Google Compute Engine, PAAS Platform as a Service, Google App Engine, Heroku, Ap Apache Stratus, SAS Software as a Service, Microsoft Office 365, Amazon DynamoDB, Gmail. Service models SAS, PAS, and IAS, Software as a Service, so Operating Environment Largely Irrelevant, Fully Functional Applications Provided, Example Customer Relationship Management, Enterprise Resource Planning, and Email. PAS Platform as a Service, Operating Environment Included, that is Windows. .NET, Linux, then open source, J2EE, applications of choice that is deployed. IAS, infrastructure as a service. So virtual platform on which required operating environment and applications are deployed. It includes storage as a service, as a service of IAS. IAS as a service is when a cloud computing vendor manages infrastructure on behalf of their customers. So what is the purpose of IAS? Infrastructure as a service known as IAS is a form of cloud computing that delivers fundamental compute, network and storage resources to consumers on demand over the internet and on a pay as you on as you go. So advantages of IAS. It offers many advantages. The most flexible cloud computing model it is recorded as it's easy to automate a deployment of storage in networking servers and processing power is more hardware purchases can be based on conceptions so client retain complete control of their infrastructure since the entire platform is given as a service resources can be purchased as needed it is highly scalable it can be applicable to any number of systems in your enterprise yes he is so Salesforce examples of popular SAAs in the for commercial thing. Salesforce, it's one of the famous uh, SAAs, Google Workspace Apps, Microsoft 365, HubSpot, Trello, Netflix. Hope everybody know about this. Then Zoom and Desk. SAS refers to a software delivery model where applications are hosted and provided to user over the internet. Instead of installing software locally, users can access and use the software through a web browser, typically on a subscription basis. Pay on demand. Its advantages, it is cost effective. Choosing SEAS can result in significant savings for a variety of reasons. Time management, scalability and applicability, accessibility, high compatibility with all the platforms, guaranteed levels of service, SLA is very secure. Then uh, backups and the data recovery, um, amplified security, high adoption rates. Next, we'll see the next model PAS platform as a service. Delivers a framework for developers that they can build upon and use to create customized applications. All servers, storage, and networking can be managed by the enterprise or a third party provider, while the developers can maintain management of the applications. So PAS allows business to design and create applications that are built into the PAS with a special, a special software components, advantages and disadvantages. It's for easier application development, time savings are there, scalability, lower administration cost, and fewer engineers are needed since everything is provided as a service. And security is more, platform maintenance is less, capability to develop for multiple devices examples google cloud microsoft azure aws amazon web services ibm cloud red hat openshift vmware that is pivotal cloud foundry oracle cloud platform heroku container based PAS. characteristics of pas it builds on virtualization technology so resources can be easily scaled up or down as your business changes Provides a variety of services to assist within the development, testing and the deployment of apps. Accessible to numerous users via the same development application. Integrates web services and databases. Thank you.